Hello my people, Lady Rosie here, how y'all do? To all my new subscribers, you're welcome. Uh, my returning subscribers, you all know I love you. On this channel, we support Harry and Meghan. And we do expose the racist treatment of Meghan Markle by the English monarchy. How y'all doing, guys? So today, I found this beautiful video from our former uh, Secretary of State. This dude used to be the Secretary of State when I used to be in high school. Long time ago. So uh, his name is uh, Colin Powell. I believe you all know him. So I want to put this little piece of video here so you all could listen what he was uh, uh, saying about uh, um, uh, Prince, uh, uh, Prince Harry. Yes. So may his soul rest in peace. We really, really thank you. Prince Harry is a young man who has grown up not just with good looks and also royal privileges. It would have been easy for him to choose a life of ease and leisure. Instead, he chose a more difficult path. And by so doing, he has become an example to millions of others. It is a path that fully embraces the noblest traditions of service to his country and to his fellow human beings. On the one hand, Prince Harry has bravely followed the tradition of generations of British royals before him by serving his country in the military. He has been an army officer in the British Army since 2006 and deployed with the Household Cavalry Regiment Battle Group to Helmand Province in 2008. During his time there, he served in the front lines directing British and American aircraft onto enemy targets. He has shown that he knows what it means to lead by example, even when it means possibly paying the ultimate price. Almost three years ago, he applied for pilot training with the Army Air Corps. His aptitude and skills were ideally suited to this role, and he earned a place in the Apache attack helicopter course as a result of that. At the end of this training, his training this year, he was awarded the prize for best co-pilot gunner, one of two awards that mark the best students in the course. And he is now serving as an Apache pilot with three regiment Air Corps. On the other hand, Prince Harry has wholeheartedly continued the royal tradition of advocating on behalf of society's less fortunate members. Clearly the loving effort Princess Diana made to teach her sons the importance of serving others has touched the heart and souls of her two sons and continues. Yep. You all heard what he said about uh, Prince Harry's service on all these tabloids trying to act dumb. And this is a former Secretary of State of the United States of America. Nothing like y'all guys, P.S. Morgan, all those cheap people hovering around the internet here like me. We just hanging around the internet. This one here is a diplomat, okay? He was a former Secretary of State, the diplomat, all those hats, he wore them all. Those are the people praising Prince Harry. And nothing to do with y'all cheap people working for $28,000 a year, hanging around the internet looking for clicks on here, on YouTube, to trash Harry and his wife. Meanwhile, the people, the valuable people with good background, with good reputation, and hold, held offices in the United States of America, those are the people who acknowledges what Prince Harry does and did, did for his country. Even our other uh, Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, I say Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, 
came here saying all the good stuff about this kid. And y'all be sitting around the internet there having to run broke like uh, my foes. You ain't got nothing in your pocket. What do you want to do? You want to just come here, uh, create fake news and lie to people so you could put food on your table. What a shame. What a low life, people. Bunch of all these tabloids. Look at them, all of them. All of them look miserable. And this one here, Don Wooden, I don't even know if he even has testosterone in his body. He looks more like he has more progesterone and uh, uh, the other one. What is that other female hormone that we have in our bodies? Estrogen. Not testosterone at all. Estrogen and uh, whatever. And progesterone in a man. So what are you going to expect from this kind of man? All of them, something is missing on them. They have to sit around and lie to make ends meet. You can't make money otherwise. You can't look for something and create something. Because you are not creative people. Boring people with no talents. All you need, you, you, you know, it's a hate on people. The successful people, like Meghan Markle. Y'all are hating on her because guess what? You couldn't even date her. Pierce Morgan came here and confessed. But uh, to be sincere, y'all, Pierce Morgan, you, you need to look at yourself. I don't care even when you were younger, Meghan wouldn't date you. I wouldn't date you. Just look at me. Yes, I would not date you. And for the clickbait, these people, they just can't stop. They just have lies after lies after lies after lies. And they never even get tired. And their people are right around them praising them. Damn, these people, these miserable people. The world could have been a better place without y'all. Seriously. The world does not need people like y'all. And all of y'all guys are not happy. All of y'all are on certain kind of substances. You're not normal. You're not sane. Normal people live happy. Y'all are not happy. Therefore, you, ju you just have to use some kind of substances to control all this nonsense that you go through. Because guess what? Your blood is so messed up. Your blood, your blood is so messed up that you don't even know who your real father is within your same family within the same family tree how you gonna be happy emotional dysregulation comes exactly from that nonsense shameless people I, I, I need to make myself happy a little bit. I got an auntie here. <laughs> I, I want y'all guys listening to auntie. <laughs> uh, let, let me laugh a little bit before I continue because otherwise I'm just going to be mad through because these people just, they just get to me like in the wrong way. I never seen such hateful people. I never seen such a hate in my entire life. Never. Hating a person that has nothing to do with you, your miserable life. And when you look at those haters, they all look the same. They look horrible. Miserable. Let's, let's laugh a little bit. Hey, y'all, don't worry about what people say about you. They're going to try to belief you. They're going to try to sell your name. They're going to try to sabotage you. They gonna just try to do anything they trying to do to destroy you, to store you. I gotta tell, I'm trying to tell y'all, don't worry about what people say about you. They gonna try to belift you. They gonna try to sellize your name. They gonna try to sabotage you. They gonna just try to do anything they trying to do to destroy you, to store you. I gotta tell, I'm trying to tell y'all, don't worry about what people say about you. They're going to try to belift you. They're going to try to sellize your name. They're going to try to sabotage you. 
They going to just try to do anything they trying to do to destroy you. To destroy you. They're going to destroy you. They're going to belief for you. They're going to... So yes, Megan, don't be listening to those people. Don't be following them. Because they're going to believe you. They're going to destroy you. They're going to sabotage you. You know, all those together combined. The auntie said, you know, yeah, <laughs> auntie just cracked me up. And the way she says it, she's very sure about what she's telling you. She's telling the nieces and nephews. So Megan, you better listen to the auntie. Yeah. <laughs> Now let's listen to the uncle. He's giving y'all guys the definition of anger. Definition of anger? <laughs> I like this. The definition of anger is an emotional punishment you give yourself for somebody else's behavior. The definition of anger? <laughs> I like this. The definition of anger is an emotional punishment you give yourself for somebody else's behavior the uh -huh. did you all hear that the definition of anger is the emotional the punishment that you give to yourself for somebody else's behavior so y'all better that that the uncle is actually preaching to me let's listen to the duchess of eden y'all follow her on twitter Y'all, I just want to just take you with me. Because when I tell you that these articles are absolutely unhinged when it comes to Harry and Meghan, like, it's so, it's so pathetic in their desperation to paint Harry and Meghan in such a negative light. And the fact that it is not working, chef's kiss, I absolutely love it for them. Because Harry is the divisive Duke, and Meghan is making jam. Kendall says has escaped their flop era. If they were flopping, y'all wouldn't be talking about them. If they were a non-factor, you wouldn't be talking about them. Exactly. Because every article you make costs you money. So why would you spend so much money on individuals that are unimportant? You wouldn't. You wouldn't do that at all. Prince William put absolute ban on Prince Harry's return to royal family. Y'all have been saying this for years, and nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Well, but what is that really going to change? Does England belong to William? That is she, he has the power to put a ban on somebody? If but, but, Harry want to travel, he can go to England. He was just in England a few minutes ago. And what does that even change? What, but, Prince Willie, Harry's living is a beautiful life in California. All of y'all guys envy him. Y'all want to become Californian boys. You all want to become American citizens or you want to have a, your permanent residence in America. Because your life ain't rose in that place there. You all are boring and broke. What is your salary? All of you all guys there. Living in 1800 homes of your great, 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 great. What do you got? Some of them mansions, they're getting sold out here. We see them on the internet all the time. You're looking for investors to uh, to uh, remodel those uh, 18, 1,600 uh, 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 homes that you inherited from your great, great, great. What do y'all guys have? It's a bunch of broke people. That's why they're so bitter. They have old money. And old money is smeared with blood. And you know that blood of ours ain't going to do you good. Y'all ain't gonna be happy. No wonder y'all are gonna just sit down there saying, telling all the lies over and over. What a, does a little William, little William, who's wanna become, he wanna become his brother. He wanna be married to Megan. He wanna be married to a woman like Megan. And he couldn't even get a quarter of a woman like Megan. Where would he? Where? He's sitting in that palace. He's traumatized with the Ruski standard. That's what he does. Drink all day. I mean, look at that dude's face. That dude is a 42 years old, for God's sake. How come he looks like he's 73? Look at him. I mean, look at him. 
You got two eyes? 2020 vision? Look at him. Look at Bullium. Like that was the news. But uh, De Denise Welsh, thank you very much for standing up for her. I saw your post on uh, Twitter. Uh, she wrote a beautiful post about that, about this article saying uh, uh, that William burnt Harry from England. Denise Walsh went, well, Harry does not want to even come back here. He doesn't, he doesn't even want to return there. He doesn't have nothing left there. His wife, his beautiful children are in California. You know? What is he going to go back for? To see all of your guys' ugly faces? Come on, please. Nobody cares what William thinks. Nobody cares what William does. Not even the UK, because if you did, you would focus on William and stop talking about Harry, but you can't. And the fact that these people are absolutely begging Harry to turn down this award is... <laughs> it's Y'all go, Harry and Meghan are irrelevant. But the people who are irrelevant, why are you talking about them? The people I think in my life are irrelevant. Guess what? I don't even bother to think about them or talk about them. And let alone sitting down there writing article about the people that I think are irre irrelevant. Why are you so contradictory? Why are you guys contradicting you damn selves? Why are you guys so stupid and dumb? Why? God, Jesus, help me. Hilarious to me. Now, listen, I'm sure it's not funny to Prince Harry. I feel bad for him. But it is so funny to me to see these people kicking, screaming, throwing up, begging this man not to take this award. Because it's so hard to sell this narrative that they're in their flop era as they are actively being welcomed by other powerful countries in the world and also winning awards in these countries. That's what is pissing them off. Because when they do go to other countries, did y'all see bullying going to black people country and going to other the brown people country? I don't I don't remember what it was. Was Tonga one of them countries? Did y'all see how they were welcomed? And did y'all see the people's behaviors towards these two, William and Kate? These are not you know royalty back in the in the day where the people of the royalty of certain class those people would come to the help of a uh, normal regular people unlike these y'all guys monarchy the real ro royalty out here are these two william uh, 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 uh not william come on this name please god slap that name out of my mouth the real royalty we're talking about here are harry and megan None of these other bullies around here are royalties. This William is what kind of royalty is this guy? He goes and watches football for his own pleasure. What is he helping the people with? He came with this homeless project around here. When I'm coming with homeless project, guess what? I'm looking for something to help the homeless with. What do you do? What do you do? We, me with my brokenness, I will come with project to put down and help people. You with billion dollars, what are you doing? Flying to Germany? Flying in private jet? God, why don't you take care of these kind of people? Why? Jay, yeah, I can't stand these people. Prince Harry reportedly stunned by backlash. No, he's not. He remembers how y'all acted a fool the last time he got an award. Second award wrote overshadows prince harry's u.s relaunch prince harry doesn't need a relaunch well like there's never listen and I've, I've seen this in other people's comment sections and i just want to address this as someone that i do i love me some harry i do love me some megan but let's be for real collectively americans do not care about these two they don't for the people that do care about them we good there's no need for a relaunch because we are good outside of that nobody cares Nobody cares. Prince Harry Award shows his desperate need for attention. Again, him being awarded is him desperately needing attention. Make that make sense.
People saw the work that he has done and continues to do with Invictus. They want to award him for that work. And that means that he's desperate for attention. I don't know if they know, but the math is not mathing right now. It's not mathing. And I need y'all, I need y'all to find something else to do. I do. Please talk about your work in Royals. Why are you not focused on those people? Why are you focused on Harry and Meghan? And this last one I want to talk about that everything is not well between Harry and Meghan says expert. How can an expert be an expert on a relationship? Like how you an expert of England? You live in England. You are going to be expert of anything happening in the United States of America. We don't even eat the same product that you guys eat down there. We don't even use the same soap that y'all guys use down there. We don't use the same companies that you guys have down there. How are you going to be expert on us from England? You sound dumb like your mama. Make that make sense. How are you an expert on someone else's relationship? Someone that you do not talk to and you do not know. Y'all have been saying this for years. And you know, for some reason, all these people are expert in certain stuff. But when you ask them what they tell you their expertise was in, they got no answers. There was one of the ministers of education or something here, if I, 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 I remember. They asked this guy questions about his own sector that he's elected or, or appointed to be prime, whatever, the minister of that sector. The guy did not even have answers for a journalist. Those are the incompetent people they hiring around them. They're all incompetent from their king to down. All stupid people. Dumb people. Oh, he's tired of her. Oh, he's scared of losing her. Megan hates him. Megan's controlling him. These people have beat all odds. Y'all have thrown at everything at them, and it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. They are still together. Most relationships would have shattered underneath this type of pressure, and they're ignoring y'all. And I love that. Listen, friend, hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, the coverage of Megan and Harry genuinely doesn't make sense. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped making videos as, like, often as I did. There are no stories here, right? There are no stories here. There's just obsessive insanity, okay? So you have Harry and Megan minding their business, doing what they want to do. They're on a completely different continent in a completely different country. Not at all being funded by the UK taxpayers, the, the British royal family, none of that, right? They are minding their business in a completely different country in a completely different time zone. And then you have the UK media also minding their business and then turning around and saying they're just attention seekers. Are they though? Are they though? Because last I checked, they were minding their business. You have been kicking, screaming, throwing up, crying about an award that has absolutely nothing to do with the UK or the British royal family. The thing that you should be focused on, okay? Preach, my queen. Preach! Hallelujah. This is an American award given by Americans. Cry about it, right? Which, I mean, to be fair, they are. And they're so upset about it that they are demanding this man turn this away. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness? Preach, sister. Preach, my queen. Preach. Woo. Or down. Because what? It makes you feel bad? Like the fact that you um, cannot accept that they're not being rejected? And please forgive me. I think it is Ariel. I'm going to attack her. Because she brought up a really good point. She was like... <laughs> They thought that Harry and Meghan were going to get the J-Lo treatment. And no, right? Because they actually have talent worth listening to and looking at. They're actually out here doing good things for people. Like, you try, they, they try to diminish their work, but it's like the work speaks for themselves. Y'all sound crazy crying about these people. But like I said, this is absolutely obsessive. Like... Does it make sense to write article after article about a stress, a stress patch? Because listen, I haven't forgotten. Like this.
because they got nothing to write a stress patch you're gonna write a bunch of articles still bothers me these people went on and on about this stupid patch for what there was no and you know the people who wrote about that big pages page six independent marker.com and when i tried to write to to go over the other thing that was said by other people and i'm also taking the news from people and i'm publishing it on my channel and you coming here studying your bs listen when i'm gonna see you little text uh, little little message on here you don't want me come for you but guess what i ain't got that time i got lots of stuff that i need to focus on i'm just gonna delete you if you gonna find yourself not sending any message he's here not seeing my cute face you better know that i don't appreciate your messages on here the big pages writing about little stress patch i don't know how they even diagnose megan if they are prescribers of medications that's how they know there was the stress patch that megan was wearing that they all went and wrote about it over and over and over and none of y'all go, go stop them when I'm taking news from all those people and come talk about it, you want to come here and try to stop me. Don't try me. Don't. Story here. The story here is the UK media's obsession with how this woman breathes, what she wears, where she goes, what she eats. That is not normal. This has surpassed this, them doing this for clicks and views. You are feeding into people's obsession with this woman because there's no story here just like there was no story here with harry jogging in a jacket why are there multiple articles written about this man jogging this isn't a story you are feeding people's insanity you are feeding people's hatred you are feeding people's obsession an obsession that you created out of nothing there's no controversy here. There are no more stories around Harry and Meghan. They're not doing anything. They aren't doing anything, right? What they're doing now is what they did last year and the year before and the year before that. Year before that. They're not doing anything new. They're doing all of the same stuff in the same vein. Okay, might be in different places, right? But the work that they have done... The work they've done, Bullion will never do that until he go to see his ancestors. He'll never do anything. All he, he's going to do is take the money that he inherited from our blood and pay these people here to bully Megan. That's the only thing that Bullion is going to do for the rest of his life. But guess what? He ain't going to last too long. Because if you just have a hatred, hate in your life, in your heart, towards people or towards certain whatever stuff on this planet, you can't last that long. You know what they call the, the, the stroke? Yeah, that stroke be. Got hold my mouth has remained the same there are no more stories so what is with this very weird obsession with these two oh wait this is the obsession right this is them continuously trying to discredit harry because they keep coming out with their illegal their illegal doings right hacking into people's phones emails whatever else allegedly right you doing all of this alleged crime and you're trying to discount this man that you victimize. And you continue to try to victimize. So yeah, I'm going to keep eating these people up. Because something's wrong with them. And only the rest is, can't see that. They can't see everything that happened to these people. To, uh, to Harry and Meghan on, on that island. That's why you saw this Mary Tillman here came with that BS. Because she doesn't understand. These people are victims of racism. But it's hard for these uh, haters, these uh, lunatics, the racists themselves, these uh, ugly human beings. 
it's hard for them to understand. I'm glad you disappear, you little Mary. I was waiting for people to bring more stuff about you here so I could take well good one hour to talk about you. I don't like you. Like I told you all guys, I just don't like talking about the dead people. But when you piss me off, sometimes I talk about them dead people also. Because if you dead with bad behavior, people need to talk about your bad behavior. They shouldn't be changing that bad behavior to good stuff. For some reason, when people, some people die, all of a sudden they just become holly. You raise the holly man. Yeah, these people be getting on my nerves. I tell you guys, I'm going to stop this video right here. I'm going to look for some fun stuff later. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can't just let them be. We can't just not talk about them. We can't just not talk about their articles. We can't just let it fly. Because guess what? The world is going to believe in that. And you, with it, lots of your school lesson that you want to come tell me here about what I should post and what I should post, Go open your channel and we're going to come there to see what you're going to do on there. All right, my people, please subscribe to Isabella Banks' channel. Subscribe to my channel and all the Sussex Friendly channels. Let's go support all of these people there. And uh, let's go to my brother, Baron. Let's get the brother to 100,000 subscribers because, you know, guys, uh, you've seen these people around here. Uh, those are our enemies. Yeah, they got numbers. We got numbers, but we just refuse to use those numbers to to uh, uh, push our people up there. So if we could do that, get Baron to that number there, would be a good thing for the brother. He's been working so hard, and all those success friendly channels have been working so hard. Uh, yeah, Isabella Banks, Weezy has been working so hard. And all of you guys uh, go subscribe there. Remember, it's her birthday month, so we need to continue to subscribe like a birthday gift until the end of this month so we can get her to 5,000 subscribers. I love you all guys. I'll talk to you all guys tomorrow. Bye for now.